Hey everybody, welcome. It's 2022. Oh my gosh, this is our first Friday Focus of 2022 because I had the pleasure of being on vacation last week. Hope you all had a good start to your year. And if you're not feeling so stellar about it, that's really what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> um, you know, this is in parts of the world and in parts of the country of the United States. This is when, you know, we have less sunshine and it's cold. And right now we have a pandemic uh, reenacted and keeping some of us inside. And maybe some of your holiday plans were canceled. Maybe this hasn't been the best of times. And if you're like me, you might also have to deal with sad seasonal affective and disorder, which I really, I don't know why it takes me by surprise every year because I know that the lack of light affects me, but I'm able to get through it in December because I love the holiday season. I have to look forward to it. And this year, so much I got canceled, so my family went on a vacation. Anyway, way healthy, thank goodness, goodness. But here we are. January, what are we? 13, 14, 14. And I'm like, no energy. no energy. So, so notice that notice I'm having, having this conversation, conversation with, with several of my clients, clients too. too. Feeling tired, tired feeling, feeling like, like, you like, you know, you know it's supposed to be the great removal time. Why is 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 why about about why is why is why is why is why is Anyway, anyway, so, so first thing, first thing, tip for my tip for my gal pals out, out there. there. When I need to cheer up, cheer up, need to not to not feel yucky, yucky. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, fit. All right, all right. So, so can you see that? See that? This is fun, fun, crazy, crazy skirt, skirt that I wore at the holidays, holidays, and I think I, I sold, think I sold you. Thank you. I don't know where I got where I got this skirt. So anyway, anyway. And by the way, by the way, if you were seeing this on where I'm using our junior, I can see it on your comments. There, there, say hello. Um, um, all right, so let's, right, so let's, let's, let's talk, talk, let's talk about this. I, have, I was talking to a business, business owner online this week. week. I, was I was talking to a corporate, corporate career, career change, change client, this, client week. this week. And, and how do you, how do you, like, like, you know, shake, you know, shake off, off the blues and, and, and feel like you, feel like you can start the process if you're not a New Year's resolution person. And the key, and the key is, is energy. energy. Watch, watch your, your energy. energy. What, what, what and who drains drain your, your energy? So, so, I, so I, I've, I've been teaching this for years, years, but I always imagine um, I, I, know, I live near an airport, an airport uh, um, and it's only 20, 20, minutes, 20 minutes for me to get to there. I fly, fly over, over New York City, York City and we're coming into New York, New Jersey. I can see these tanks. They're not good for the environment, those big gas tanks, I guess. But I look at those gas tanks and I think, so that's, you know, that's like the same tank for your life, life, right? So this thing, thing fills, fills up with energy, energy in your tank, your tank and, and then sometimes things deplete. deplete. So you have to look at what pokes holes in your tank, what pokes holes in your energy, and that's what you need to correct. So it even, it helps your mindset, you know, what and look at what, what drains your energy. Is it certain tasks? Is it people? Is it certain things you have to do at work? Is it chores? You know, it could be the people in your own house. So really look, like pay it attention, take a day with a little notebook or in your phone and notice, okay, that just drained me. This drained me. I hate doing this. I hate doing that. And you have to start getting creative. You know, can you hire it out? Can you delegate it out? Can you not do it? Like, is it a should? Is it something you think you should do and you don't have to do it anymore? Oh, are you people hearing an echo? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I know what to do to change this. Hang on with me. Um. All right, the person who reported the echo, tell me if this, did the echo go away? Let me know, because I can't see your name, Facebook user, but I hope the echo went away. All right, so listen up. So to shake, shake off the blues, watch your energy vampires. Who is stealing your energy? What is stealing your energy? And even if it's just temporary for the dark months, Make sure you're not doing those things. What gives you energy? Like, gives me energy to wear my fun clothes, even though I don't feel like it. It gives me energy that I'm wearing my Harry Potter pin, nine and three quarters, because I was just at Harry Potter World. And, you know, a joke, I'm not a 10, I'm a nine and three quarters. And that's not being mean to myself. Okay, let's get real. I'm not a 10 anymore. <laughs> so that makes me feel good. Um, 
That's better. Oh, gosh, I hate to hear that because this is a really expensive microphone and people are always telling me that it's echoing. I'll work on that, but thank you. All right. So this is short and sweet today. I already feel energized by talking to you. So think about this as an energetic equation. What is draining your energy? That's how you beat the blues. If it's a mess in your office, if it's a person who's draining you, if it's a situation that's draining you, you need to correct it. And you might say, but that's not always possible. You can avoid it. You can, like I said, delegate it. You can get creative and just being creative about a problem helps bring you energy. So thank you for watching. And those of you who can see the little scroll underneath the screen, or if you're on Instagram, go to my link in my bio. But on Monday for service-based business owners, especially coaches, if you need some foundational help with your business, you need it to click, you need your sales to be better. You need, um, to really feel like you know what you're doing and it's reliable and you can create a system that produces results and money for you, you want to be at Foundations. A-List is my new program for service-based business owners, especially um, coaches. And I have an elite level for people who need to figure out uh, how they're going to do their TED Talk, their book, their methodology, their, um, you know, their course. And my Foundations program is for the people who are still getting their feet under them and want to really get their resources in place and their revenues up. So I hope you'll join me. Check that out. It starts on Tuesday and I can take you until Monday. I have six slots left because there's only gonna be 10 people in the class. All right, everyone have a great one and it's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Do something that brings you energy. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.